All right, I'm very excited to launch my uh, new sinus lift kit in 2018, version 5.0. Uh, we've been making sinus lift kits since uh, year 2007, and we have come a long way uh, improving uh, each year. And now in 2018, we are launching uh, version 5.0. The unique thing about this sinus lift kit is that as soon as we grind and we go through the sinus floor, uh, we elevate the membrane immediately with internal irrigation. So I recommend to have a handpiece. In fact, most of implant handpiece have uh, internal irrigation, uh, which you put it inside. And this internal irrigation, um, uh, the aqua pressure will immediately elevate the membrane as you see in my cases. So how do you use this kit? Let me walk you through step by step. Uh, here you have the necessary tools to do lateral or window approach. Here you have a set of burrs to do a crestal approach. Uh, basically when you are doing a crestal approach, you have more than 5 millimeter of initial bone height. When you have less than 5 millimeter bone height, I would recommend to do a lateral approach. There are some um, uh, exceptions. Uh, when you have very, very wide ridge, uh, greater than 12 millimeter bone buccolingually, as you saw in my sinus classification, you can use this in crestal approach, but instead of doing a blind crestal approach, we would actually make a window and lift the membrane with this set of instruments. So you could log on to www.ce4dentist.com into our IADI website to check out those cases in detail. So hypothetically, let's say the patient comes in with seven millimeter of uh, height of the bone and buccolingually you have 10 millimeter of bone and you want to place five by a 10 millimeter implant. Uh, because you have seven millimeter of initial bone height, or did I say seven or six? Seven, okay. So because you have a seven millimeter bone height, you would just add one more millimeter, so eight millimeter. So seven plus one equals eight. Because you have seven millimeter of initial bone height, you will select the eight millimeter stopper. If I had six millimeter bone height, then I would select a seven millimeter stopper. You just have to add one more millimeter to the radiographic bone height. And in terms of a diameter of the implant, if I am placing 5.0 implant, I would recommend 4.3 millimeter diameter. So simply we'll put this together like so. Now I have a millimeter height of the birds and we put it together into um, handpiece with internal irrigation. Therefore, when I am doing my osteotomy, as soon as we drop one millimeter into the sinus floor, this internal irrigation will immediately lift the membrane. Now, if you are using 4.0 implant with only six millimeter of initial bone height, because it's 4.0 millimeter implant, you will select three point one millimeter drill. Basically you are undersizing the osteotomy so that you can obtain initial stability and we will select this, put it into handpiece with internal irrigation tube like this. And after we put it into internal irrigation tube, you will select seven millimeter stopper, like so. And we will go, as soon as we go one millimeter beyond um, the sinus floor, the aqua pressure will immediately lift the uh, schnadarium membrane. So basically that's how you do crestal approach after that. You want to inject putty bone. I like to use Nova bone in my uh, clinic, uh, but if, you're, if you like to use particulate bone, you want to condense the bone, and best way to condense the bone is to use 
my reamer to condense the bone um, above the uh, sinus floor. So this is a very simple way to do crest approach. And basically you choose a stopper that is a millimeter longer than your radiographic sinus floor. Now let's say that you want to do lateral window. How do you do lateral window? Um, basically you select 5.0 millimeter diameter. Usually the lateral wall are 1.5 millimeter or less in thickness. But because of the curvature, I like to select, you see here on the bottom it says lateral. This is, if I put this stopper, this will be a one millimeter height. If I put two millimeter stopper here, below seven there is a letter called two. You have a two millimeter stopper and usually three millimeter stopper is sufficient to be able to go through the lateral window and if you want to extend the lateral window I would use a side cutting drill to extend the lateral window sideways so that you have a better visibility. Immediately after we go through the lateral window we will use the mushroom elevator to elevate uh, followed by our uh, palato elevator and we also have left and right cobra to be able to elevate and as you can see over the years I made the instrument smaller and smaller so that we can make our lateral window as small as possible. Uh, in our body we have what we call critical size defect. If you make the window too big uh, it, it will not heal completely uh, automatically. Uh, therefore, you have a risk of doing, uh, you, you have risk of inducing oral angelo communication. Uh, therefore, what I recommend is instead of making a huge window, I like to make multiple uh, small windows. And then we will use this uh, uh, instrument to carry the bone and condense the bone. Now, if you open my sinus kit, underneath I do have a probe that is excellent for probing. Uh, inside osteotomy to make sure that we have an intact synovial membrane. Therefore, after you go one millimeter longer with my uh, sinus uh, drill, you do want to put the stopper and and make sure that we have intact synovial membrane. It is very blunt. It will not perforate the membrane. And it's an excellent probe uh, to feel around the sinus floor. So I'm very excited to launch our a 5.0 sinus lift kit and this will really save your surgical time when do when you are doing sinus lift